Hey, it's Campin' Cass from Smith RV coming to you guys from the high plains of Casper, Wyoming. Today we're going to walk through the 2024 Arctic Fox 27.5 L fifth wheel. Like a fine wine, this thing just keeps getting better with age. This floor plan has literally been in the Northwood lineup since the early 2000s and they just keep making it better and better as time goes on. This one here has a Northwood Sol X10 solar package on it. That's 1,000 watts of solar power on the roof, which we're gonna check that out here shortly. All right, let's take a walk through this thing. I wanna show you guys everything this thing has to offer. Now this is a 29 feet, nine inch overall front to back unit. It's a wide body, uh, so eight six wide, and so really short overall dimensions, but it's got an amazing amount of room on the inside that uh, keeps a small overall package, but still gives a lot of room to work with. We have Lippert's 3.0 ground control automatic leveling on board this. We have a 16 gallon water heater on there. Uh, you will not run out of water on this thing. And especially with 88 gallons of, uh, of capacity, that thing is going to go the distance, no doubt. Got this super hard core, heavy duty, rubberized uh, uh, fender skirts on this thing that uh, is not the cheap ABS plastic like you're going to see breaking on a lot of coaches. 16 inch wheels, you're going to find a lot of your average trailers having 15 inch wheels. Does that, what does that do for you? What does that help you with? Today's modern pickups sit a lot taller. And so with those smaller wheels on the trailer, the trailer's gonna ride like this. This is gonna give a more level ride going down the road. Got Goodyear Endurance tires, metal line wheel wells, Dexter axles, and classic Arctic Fox form. It's got shocks on all four wheels. So it's really gonna dampen the ride of the coach. We have thermal pane windows. That's a dual pane window on board this. I really challenge those who say that those aren't really worth much. They don't add that much uh, insulation level to it. I completely disagree. It's almost double uh, the insulation. It's gonna do a lot better at keeping those windows from condensating uh, when it's warm inside the coach, super cold on the outside. And it also dampens the noise inside the unit, which who doesn't like that? All right, let's move on. We have a big, large entry assist handle. And the nice thing about this is you can be from ground level and start stepping up on those solid steps. We have an adjustable pitch uh, awning on board this, LED light tube in, the, or light strip in the tube, excuse me. And we have the flex guard awning protector on this one. So when that fabric's all rolled in, uh, that's going to be protected to make, get a lot more life out of that awning fabric. All right, this is the small side of our pass-through storage here. A lot more brand on the other side, but we've got inch-thick insulated doors. A propane capacity. we got two Fodies on this thing. 80 pounds of propane total. Let's check out the front of this thing. All right, at the front of the coach, we have a... Gorgeous Foxy fiberglass front cap on board this thing. Built-in LED light strips and individual hitch hookups uh, lights. More ride pin box, that's gonna dampen the ride inside the pickup. So going down the road, it's gonna get a lot nicer. Now Northwood preps these for a generator. They got the transfer switch wiring and they're all ready to go. Switch is inside. If you want to do a 5500 Onan propane generator on board, it's ready for it. If not, you got wide open spaces in there for storage. All right, let's go check out the service side of this coach. All right, over on the service side of this coach, let's check out first these very nice battery racks, super nice racks. So these are uh, both sliding trays, so you can get them slid out. You can work with them. You can maybe do the maintenance on them, cleaning terminals, maybe topping off with water, depending on what you're using. So definitely, um, definitely a great, uh, great uh, battery, battery racks. All right, moving on to the other side, the big side of our pass-through storage. So got a lot of great room in here. Now keep, keep in mind, you're gonna find some fifth wheels with a bigger basement storage, but what the 27.5L does not have 
is that drop frame. So on some of your bigger floor plan units, they do a drop frame where the frame comes down and back out and gives a lot bigger basement storage. Pros and cons to that, a little less storage on this, but a little more ground clearance, depending on where you're going and what you're doing with this coach. While we're in here, you can take a look at our 5 8 tongue and groove decking that Northwood uses, aluminum superstructure, and we have our access to our auto leveling controls right there. All right, coming over to our little convenience center, ever so convenient. We have all of our stuff right in here, cable, satellite, battery disconnect. We have a little quick connect hose, black tank flush, city water fill, and then we can access this stuff from the bottom. Um, so you can have hoses, cables come up through the bottom with that removed there. I want to, I want you to come back in real quick here. I want to show you the foam block insulation that these walls are laminated. So our inside wall panel, our fine line on the outside and our foam block. Foam's a lot denser and uh, it's a lot more consistent way to insulate than say bad insulation. All right, while we're over here, I want to give you I want to have you take a quick look at our slide seals. You know, really in classic Northwood form, it's very difficult to get your fingers in the slide seals. That's what you want. You want to keep the dust out. You want to keep the dirt out. You want to keep these sealed up tight. You don't want air blown through while you're sitting in the sofa watching, you know, Sunday afternoon ball game or something. So, all right, let's go check out the bottom of this coach. So love Northwood with our straight pole rod dump valves. So what we have here is we have a fresh gray and a black tank. They're all individually enclosed, individually heated uh, from the furnace in one big enclosure below. So we also have our dump valves in there as well. So you can totally dump when it's in colder temperatures without uh, you know, the valves freezing up, which is uh, super great. Uh, let's, while we're under here, you see Northwood's big I-beam frame under here. There's a lot of frame on these trailers. That's the in, built in-house and independent, independently, excuse me, uh, certified frames on here. All right, we got a rack and pinion slide system on here. It's one of the most tried, true slide mechanisms on the market. All right, guys, let's go check out the back of this thing. I forgot to show you real quick on our way to the back. I want to show you the back side of our outside storage that is under the booth dinette. You can see the drawers that we'll check out from the other side. That's, a, that's another beauty of getting a Northwoods Dream dinette. This is you have storage from inside and outside. All right, come along the back. All right the back of the coach. I want to show you guys our 50 amp power cord on this and we have a built-in uh, retractable power cord reel. I think if you've ever managed a 50 amp power cord they're super heavy so that's going to take a lot of the work out of that which is uh, super duper great. All right back of the coach we have a monitor system on the back of this thing so they have a monitor inside the truck so you can see what's going on behind you at all times, which is fantastic. We do have a full fiberglass cap on here. You know, a lot of uh, manufacturers out there that make, uh, you know, things that this compete with are gonna have a laminated uh, back wall on the back here, not a fiberglass cap. It's gonna, it's gonna last so much longer. We do have a rear receiver hitch on here. Those are good for 300 pounds of tongue weight and 3,000 pounds of tow capacity. So if you live in a state where it's legal to tandem tow, this is a very ideal unit for that. All right, we're gonna climb up our fat ladder here, take a look at that uh, big solar package. All right, let's go. All right, rooftop, and there's our flex guard awning protector, that little black strip next to the trailer. All of our solar panels totaling 1,000 watts of solar power for our Solex 10 package. There you can see our 15,000 BTU air conditioner and our huge Northwood skylight. Hey, welcome aboard. We're in the 2024 Arctic Fox 275L. I want to 
I want you guys to take a visual of this floor plan. So we've talked about the overall length of 29 feet 9 inches, so very short overall length but we were working with an eight feet wide, six inch uh, wide body platform. It's the widest they can literally build a coach to legally go down the road. And look at the size of this slide out, it's huge. This is like the most ultimate couples coach out there. It's perfect for those that wanna do some traveling, maybe do a little boondocking, but also maybe if you wanna sleep some people, we got the dream dinette that will make down into a bed as well. Casually lounging, we got our cross stitch sofa. Um, I'm six foot three and, and very, very comfortable on this unit. Straight across from us, we got our 32 inch 12 volt uh, TV uh, on board here. And uh, let's check out the rest of this thing. On this, uh, sorry, real quick on this sofa, we do have power, we have 110, we have USBs. We've got cup holders, but maybe uh, maybe if you want to kind of snuggle up there uh, with your significant other, you know, you can flip that up and maybe you can kind of lounge out on that thing as well. So that's kind of a nice option. Do got Northwood's Dream Dinette. This is a, a pull release single lever motion and you push down, have the cushions lay out across that and you have yourself a bed. And we call it the Dream Dinette for nothing. Okay, storage, storage, storage. So this is the inside. We looked at the outside and saw the access underneath the booth dinette. This is what the inside looks like. Nice, solid hardwood cabinetry built in-house by the fine folks in LaGrande, Oregon. Storage is your deal. This thing's got a ton of it. So big old pantry there. We'll flip up up there. We got two big skylights in this thing. I'll show you the one in the bedroom. Oh, you gotta be pretty tall to, to reach up there. So you can kind of check the depth of the ceiling on here, super deep. That gives us our layer of R18 bat insulation with that layer of R15 astral foil. We have solid surface countertops. This is by far, one of my most favorite um, kitchens. You have so much counter space, having this beautiful rear kitchen. You have gorgeous views out each of these windows. Uh, so looking out, it's really a great, uh, really a great setup. Nice big bright light below our convection microwave. Our Furion three burner cooktop and our very residential oven below. We have a 10 cubic foot, 12 volt refrigerator on board this. So got some great storage in here. These things cool down in about two to three hours. Back to that storage. This has been a North of staple. Love it so much. If you're getting ready for the zombie apocalypse or something, man, Stack that thing full of all your canned goods and get off the grid. Got all of our control switches, awning slides. If you do that built-in generator, our switches right there, porch light, entry light. Got a sound bar on that TV also. Uh, let's go check out the bathroom. All right, on our way to the upper deck, I want to show you guys this killer coat closet. Nice pull-out closet here. I think three different jackets. Roll it back in. Shut the door. And it's gone. All right, come on up top here. Let's check out the bathroom to start with. So they've carried on solid surface countertops into the bathroom. Nice little stainless steel sink. Single lever faucet. Little corner medicine cabinet here. And the little uh, little mirror that does light up as well. So we have a garden shower here. And let's see what that looks like. So standing in the shower, six foot three, no cowboy boots on today. And uh, not head's not even close to being in the skylight. 
we can adjust the height on here, which is super fantastic for those who are tall and short. Some built-ins. And get some room to work in here. We also have a linen, which is fantastic. So stack all the towels and the things you need in there. And we're ready to go to the bedroom. I'm going to show you guys the storage. So our wardrobe slide, it is... We got great hanging space here. I'm gonna slide over out of the way. We got great hanging space there. And then we had some shelf space and some nice drawers down below. Not super deep, but they are wide. One more there. All right, so we have nightstands on each side of the bed. This is a 60 by 80 queen bed. This is Northwood's True Rest mattress. So this is a good mattress. Most people really enjoy this. It's Northwood's branded mattress. Let's take a look underneath here real, real fast. I'll show you all the, all the goodies that Northwood includes in this stuff. Got the uh, AF uh, logoed uh, throw blanket. Got, the, got that angry looking fox for your entry door. We have two director director chairs that are AF, and we have a built-in safe here. So throw some things in there. While we're down here, we got a heat duct coming out of our wall there. Keep your toes nice and toasty. All right, let's go up. Here, so I touched on nightstands on each side of the bed, which is great. I always love a good place to put stuff, whether it's your cell phone, your water, etc. We have drawers on both sides, a little cabinet on each side, and a little built in shelf. Now you can see how much arch we have in the ceiling, so this gives us more, more headroom in here. And we also have a, uh, they call this ozite. This is kind of like a fabric line ceiling. It dampens the acoustics uh, for the noise and it also adds a, a bit of an insulation level. So that's super nice. I mentioned our two skylights, our one back in the kitchen and our one, our day, day lighter uh, skylight in the bedroom here. So you can you know, open and close that as needed, which is uh, super great. And then we also have a thermostatically controlled uh, fan vent in here too. So you can set the temperature, it's uh, rain sensing, etc. Really going to help control the temperature in here. A lot of people talk about not having a window on this side. That's going to take care of your temperature right there. And it's going to run off the batteries. So you can be, you know, off the grid and be living it up. Let's check out our shades real quick. You want to catch uh, catch a few more Z's in the morning? We got a uh, blacked out roller shade, so it's going to do a great job at keeping the uh, keeping the light out. So real quick too, if you want to kind of set the mood in the bedroom, you just roll that down a little bit, or roll that back up as needed. So anyway, so let's uh, let's go back out here. Got our nice back into our living part of our coach. I really hope you guys have enjoyed walking through the 2024 Arctic Box 27.5L. Uh, I'm camping Cass with Smith RV in Casper, Wyoming. Uh, we've been a Northwood dealer since 1993. Uh, we're very much so uh, into the product. We'd love to talk to you about it. Um, if you have any questions, please uh, uh, reach out to us. We'd be happy to, uh, to, to get in touch with you. So anyways, uh, have a great day, guys. Thanks for coming along.